Consider this example, a hunter is hunting a fish, so he will have to count for the bending of light and he will have to hit slightly above it and slightly away from it. And this can be easily calculated that how much distance is to be kept between this one and this one in order to hit the fish at the right place. So this bending of light will have to be encountered or to be calculated before hitting the fish here. Let's consider this one. When I look perpendicularly to this one and this pencil is also perpendicular here, then I see that this pencil in this portion is in air only. So I will see the effect of air in this weaving. When it goes into the glass here, then I see that inside the glass now the image is different because the light bending of the glass will occur. Here this is one medium and in this medium I am seeing no bending of the light but its magnification has changed here and this is another medium. And in this medium, we are having a different kind of fluid and magnification has increased, but there is no bending at all here. We will have to count that this is, for example, the fluid in here. That fluid is playing the role as well as the glass is playing the role here in seeing this image. If I look here, like a pencil which is uh, inside a glass and the glass is filled with water here. So till this point I am seeing the pencil in air and now I will see a bending of this pencil because the light ray will bend inside water and I am not seeing the actual location of the pencil here but the image of the pencil or the bended form of the pencil or apparent location our virtual image of this pencil. If I look here, then this one is completely different from this one and the bending is just like a cut here. So over here it's air, inside this it's a glass material which will cause some bending of it and inside over here this water now it is the water plus glass here and I am seeing now a cut like shape the bending is more than this one. Similarly over here I see that the tip of this pencil is having a bend although there is no bend in reality but the glass curvature is causing this bend here in the pencil. This is one of the very good image in university physics and we can see here that this person is standing on the clip and he is looking at a person who is swimming inside this pond and the person is also seeing this person who is on the clip. Now due to the bending of light both of them are not seeing their actual locations but their virtual or their images are apparent locations. Let's see, consider this one. This sends a light ray and this light ray is bent here and it is reflected big from this person, the swimmer, and it follows this path back to him. He is actually not tracing this light ray big, but he is tracing it in a straight line and he will see the apparent location and he will see he is slightly deep in this pond, although he will be much deep in this pond here. Okay, now let's consider the swimmer. And when the swimmer, the light ray coming from the person here, this light ray comes to the swimmer and then big from the swimmer and reflected here. So the swimmer will trace this light ray in a straight line and he will see the person or the clip at this point. So all of them are actually seeing their apparent locations and not the actual location. The
person on the cliff thinks that he is not much deep in water while the swimmer is seeing that he is the clip is much high is from the pond here so both of them will see the their apparent locations and not the actual locations due to the bending of light one of the very practical example here is the falling sun now this is let's say the true position of the falling sun when light rays are coming in from here then these light rays are experiencing our seven skies are the seven layers of the sky and they are having different refractive indices the refractive index is becoming more and more is it coming close to the globe so some reflection will occur here then coming from this and refraction will occur here and so on and it will reach us here so what we will do we will trace this light ray back in a straight line and we will see the apparent location of the sun so the sun when we see at a horizon it is slightly lower than that one not much because the sun is huge and its distance from the environmental layers or the layers of the sky is not much so we will see a slight deviation in its position and it will be slightly lower than where we see the sun similarly when the sun is falling sometime we see its very distorted or flattened or deformed image and the reason for this is that light ray when coming when light ray are coming from the sun when it is at the horizon then it is experiencing our environment more and refraction will occur here so what will happen that the our atmosphere is not fixed so it is varying and that variation will cause the image to deform or distort so that's the reason that sometime when lots of pollution is in the air then we see a distorted image of the sun another very nice example of refraction of light is the twinkling of stars now the stars why do they twinkle let's consider that the light ray coming in from here will actually refract here and refract more in the environmental or the sky layers and as it reaches it would have changed means we will trace this light back here and in a straight line and we will see the star at its apparent location and not at exact location that is one thing that we will experience another thing that we will experience is that our environmental layers are actually the physical conditions are not stationary so they are varying as well and the image which is coming will be some somehow wobbling through this uh, environmental layers and that's why the image of the shining body will just see like twinkling so we will have twinkles due to the refraction of light now coming back to the total internal reflection and we have discussed this situation now we will discuss this further i left it at that point because it is also having the involvement of refraction so first i wanted we should study the refraction and then come to the total internal reflection because refraction is also involved here so we have let's say this is the practical example we shine a laser on slab of glass which is filled with some high refractive index material and if the angle is more than the critical angle then this light will not go out of it but will reflect back into the original medium and total internal reflection will occur here this is a glass slab and the angle here is more than the critical angle so the light actually hits its other end and then reflects back from that one and moves to the top here and then from the top again here so it is totally internally reflected here 
we see a practical example here as i discussed earlier of the road shine just like water over it or we can see this thing in a desert as well like a pond of water and we call this phenomenon as mirage this is one of the example in which it has been illustrated in an animated image and the light coming from the sun is not going in a straight line but curved and then reflects back from here and goes to the camel line the camel will actually see the image of the sky here and it will look like water and this is the phenomenon of the mirage so what happens actually in this range we will have to study it in more detail let's consider a desert this may be a desert or any other surface like road or any other shiny surface we can have the mirage effect here and when sun shines on this one then it will heat up this sand of the desert and the heat will be we can divide it in layers for our calculation but actually these layers are just for our calculations in order to understand the thing that their thickness is infinitesimally small and in reality we are having the air to be more hotter as we go down here or colder if we move to the top of it when light ray comes from the sun and it for example hits this layer then this layer is colder and this layer is hotter comparatively so the refractive index of this layer will be more than the refractive index of this layer and what we will have we will have that the light will actually refract here from the actual line and i can see this thing in a zoomed form here that this is the actual line which is coming the light rays coming in here so instead of hitting here due to the difference in the refractive indices the very slight difference in the refractive indices of these two layers this will deviate from it and it will just cause a little bit curvature in it and as we move on this this angle will increase more and more and a time will come that this angle will exceeds the critical angle and we know that when critical angle is exceeded then total internal reflection will occur and the light will totally internally reflect and it will go in this direction and someone here will observe or will trace back this light ray in a straight line and at this point he will see the reflection of the total internal reflection here and this will have the image or the reflection of a sky here and if some nearby objects will be there then their reflection will also be in this one and it will seems like a pond of water because the intensity of light will be much more there we call this phenomenon as a mirage and it is an illusion it is not reality